now I already mentioned uh, that I skipped catching an Abra for now, but another I passed over for the time being is the odd egg in the daycare center. Now I don't need anything in the daycare, I don't want to breed anything, nor do I think I am going to ever need it in uh, this Let's Play. But one thing that is quite interesting in the daycare is the odd egg, as I mentioned. Now this is crystal only, you won't find it in gold and silver. What the odd egg is, is that, well, of course it's an egg, and um, inside that egg there is one of seven Pokémon. That being all the babies in the second generation except Togepi. Um, excuse me, is there anything to boost special defense here? I noticed there was something for every stat, but I didn't see any X special defense. I think there is such an item in the later generations, not that I would know for sure, since I never ever use those items. These ones are much cooler, since they raise stats permanently, even if it's not by as much as, uh, for example, the X attack, X defense, etc. But yeah, in the odd egg you can find either a Pichu, a Cleffa, an Igliba, uh, a Tyrogue, uh, not Tyrouge, Tyrogue! This isn't the first time I remind you of that fact, and it's probably not gonna be the last. There can also be a Smoochum, an Elekid, or a Magby. No Togepi though, that's the only baby that can't be in the odd egg, especially since you already had a Togepi egg at the beginning of the game. And what's really special about this egg is that there is a, a 1 in 2 chance that the, the Pokémon is going to be shiny. So if what I suggest you do if you ever replay Crystal, or better yet, if this comes back in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you you take the uh, you save before taking the odd egg, sorry, then you take it and you go for a ride on the bike and once it hatches, if it's not shiny, then you start over. It's better done on an emulator since there's a turbo button, and believe me, on this one I'm using right now, when it turbos, it really does turbo, no joke. Anyway, this guy here wants to trade an Abra for a Machop, and in Gold and Silver it's not an Abra that he wants, it's a Drowsy, and a lot of people recommend doing this because Wait a minute, I wanna, I wanna buy TMs here! I'm going to buy Thunder Punch, and I am going to buy Ice Punch as well. Not Fire Punch, because what I want to have on my Alakazam by the end is Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Recover, even though it's not quite as effective in Gold, Silver, Crystal, because it has less special defense, but Recover is still a nice move regardless. And whatever Psychic move I have, whether it's Confusion, Psy Beam, or, or Psychic. And you heard that last girl I talked to on Sundays, there's a woman on the 5th floor of the department store who gives away frustration or return TMs depending on how happy my lead is. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here next Sunday and I am going to grab a return TM for my Quilava. Because, well, it's not going to be at the full 102 power just yet, it's going to take a while, but at least it's going to give me something stronger than quick attack if I need the power, but not the speed. And in those vending machines over there, there are the same drinks as on the rooftop in uh, the Celadon uh, department store, but there are no awesome deals on TM that are available here, unlike in Pokemon Red. Now what's interesting on this rooftop is that if I have the phone number of one of the trainers on Route 34, the, uh, one of the ones that I skipped, he or she, I don't remember which off the top of my head, will warn me that there is a rooftop sale on top of the department store. And here, whenever there's a sale, I can buy items for a lot cheaper than what they usually go for anywhere else. And this may even be an opportunity to buy items that aren't viable elsewhere. Now, I don't really remember which items correspond to that description, but uh, you get the idea of what the rooftop sales actually do. But anyway, I was interrupted while talking about something, and I'm trying to remember what I was talking about. Yeah, the Machop on the fifth floor uh, 
uh, that you can trade an Abra or a Drowsy for, depending on uh, the version you're playing. A lot of people recommend getting the Machop because it has a huge advantage on everything in the gym, which is of course very nice because, well, as you can imagine, anything to make that pain in the butt mill tank easier, well, that, that that's great. But personally, I think, well, Metshop's uh, stats are just a little too low for me to really appreciate it. Of course, Rollout is uh, super effective on my Quilava, but that's something I'm willing to, uh, to deal with. And there's also going to be an Alakazam, which is going to have, well, a fair amount of defenses at this point in the game. Between levels, you know, 16 and 25, it actually has pretty nice defenses, but it all falls apart after that, of course. Bottom line is, I don't need uh, that much up. I'm going to make do with what I'll have on my team by then. And before talking about that match up, I was interrupted while talking about the odd egg. Yeah, I wasn't quite done yet, it was just to say that somewhere... I have read somewhere that um, it's not a 1 in 2 chance I have of uh, finding a shiny, it's a 1 in 7 chance. And I don't know which one is true, though I have seen the 1 in 2 figure a lot more, but if... I, it takes me a lot of, of attempts in order to get a shiny, well then uh, I will know which one is right, whereas uh, if I get it on the first or second try, well that doesn't really mean anything. And personally, what I'm going to do uh, about the odd egg in this playthrough is that I just want my freebie shiny. I don't care which species it is, especially since I'm not planning on using any of them. I just want the freebie shiny is all on top of the shiny Gyarados in the Lake of Rage. And here is the bicycle shop, which means I am finally going to get my hands on a brand spanking new bike for absolutely free. Well, on the, the one condition that I advertise for him because he really needs the advertisement because no one uh, comes to the shop because it's so out of the way imagine if you had a shop and it was in, uh, in a residential sector no one would come but enough talk now is the time to show you one of my favorite improvements uh, from the second generation I go to my pack the key items pocket bicycle select and now I can press select and the bike will automatically appear from underneath my feet without the need to go through the menu every time. And that music, I gotta say, it's quite catchy as well. I hope they don't completely butcher it in Hard Gold and Soul Silver, but I'm pretty confident that they won't repeat the disaster from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Okay, next stop, the Radio Tower, where I'm going to get the radio expansion for my Pokegear, just in case I ever feel like listening to the shittiest radio show in the world, which is naturally going to be NEVER! And as you can see, Team Rocket's already here. Yep, they're planning that huge takeover that will happen in about 100 videos. Okay, so I say 100. It might be 50, I don't know. It's going to occur eventually, but it's still a long time from now. I know this is just foreshadowing, but this early in the game? What that means is that this Rocket Grunt will spend several months gazing at the tower non-stop. Now that is either complete dedication or complete stupidity. Okay, so this is for the Lucky Number show. Hey, wouldn't it be the coolest if I just popped in without any intention of winning and then I won? So let's see, oh it would be so cool. Come on, come on, tell me I won, please. No, man. As you might expect, the prize is a Master Ball, the, and it would be really fun to have a second one because it would make things a whole lot easier, but I guess I'm gonna have to do without because the odds of me winning one are 1 in 65,536. And the Nike in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, you don't have, you know, you have a few numbers right at the end so you get a little prize. Nope, you don't, you don't have that here, and it's a shame because in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, you can get quite a few PP ups if uh, you trade with a lot of different people. Well, see you next time, and hopefully I'll be clearing out the rest of Goldenrod.